Rigid beauty standards are forcing girls around the world to give up their favorite treats, sweat for hours in the gym, buy creams that burn extra grams and bashfully count every calorie eaten. Gradually, the boundaries are expanding and fewer and fewer beauties do everything to achieve such desired parameters. And there are people who would give anything in this life, just to get a little better. I don't really understand this. What's so great about bones? However, if modern models lived in the 19th century, they would have more chances to become rich and famous. Isaac Sprague used his opportunity to make a fortune to the fullest. Our hero deliberately did not lose weight. So fate decided that he would become the thinnest man of the 19th century. Isaac Sprague was born in 1841 in Massachusetts. He grew and developed normally, was an ordinary boy. But at the age of 12, strange things began to happen to him. Isaac began to lose weight, rapidly losing weight. When Sprague was 44 years old, his height was 168 centimeters, while his weight was only 43 kilogram. Isaac went to doctors a lot, turned to well-known specialists, but no one could find out the reason for such a strong weight loss. Isaac was losing strength despite eating a lot. Since he lived with his mother alone, he had to go to the circus to get money and somehow support his family. He never parted with a flask in which sweet milk was poured. This helped him not to lose consciousness from impotence, from time to time he took a couple of sips. Needless to say, the level of medicine in those days was very modest. It is possible that now Isaac would be cured, he would become a normal person. Question, is it necessary to be treated? Yes, it's hard to live when your height is 168 centimeters and your weight is around 40 kilograms. In windy weather, it is better not to leave the house. On the other hand, a person had to somehow earn a living. With such dimensions, you won't go to the port as a loader, you won't work in the field either. You could do some mental work. But Isaac had no money to study. And the funds were badly needed. According to one version, the guy lived alone with his mother. There was no father. The family was poor. According to another, dad was still there, and it was he who, in part, helped his son start earning. Allegedly, it was like this. One day Sprague's father and son went to the circus. When the couple approached the cash register, the big top workers noticed the unusual appearance of Isaac, appreciated it, and called the doctor. That evening, the Sprague's entered the show for free. And Isaac was offered to work in a circus. I somehow already touched on the topic of how, hygienic, it was to take people with some kind of illness or abnormality to the circus. Maybe it was wrong. To expose midgets, giants, very thin, too fat, too hairy for all to see, like some kind of wild animals. On the other hand, if now people are still trying to help sick people, then no one thought to feed them just like that. And in the circus, such artists made decent money. So, it's a double-edged sword. Isaac agreed to work. His signature number was eating delicious huge steaks in front of the public. Sprague ate for 24 years and did not get fat. However, he had an excellent appetite. Sprague ate for two, and people watched with delight as the living skeleton devoured steaks in huge quantities. Despite everything, Isaac subsequently married and even had children, three sons. In the circus, Isaac earned a lot of money. But he did not become rich. His passions were gambling and alcohol. There is probably no moral to the fable. Although I would recommend readers to watch their body, not to go to extremes. Medical standards for the ratio of weight and height have long been established. You need to follow them if possible. There are no diseases that prevent you from getting closer to ideals. During the years of work in the circus, he made a considerable fortune, but he lost everything on drinking and gambling. Isaac died at the age of 46, a beggar. It was written in his will that he gave his body to scientists for experiments, taking care that in the future other people with the same disease could be helped. After the death of Isaac, no one managed to beat his record for thinness. And already at the beginning of the 20th century, interest in traveling circuses began to fade, 
largely due to educational work with the population that there was no magic or something worthy of admiration in them. Soon, looking at people like Isaac as a curiosity became simply indecent. This is where our video ends. Friends, I will be very grateful if you just like, write a comment and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for being with us.